Hey guys, Deanna Chambers here. This is day seven of 365 days of no alcohol. Uh, today was a good day overall. I would say um, I got to uh, hang out with one of my friends from childhood. Her parents were in town visiting, so it was really great to uh, see them and spend time with them. And my friend who's actually my age has two children and is pregnant with a third. So that's intense. Um, I am no way ready to have children right now, but I commend all the mothers out there who are doing what she's doing. Um, her second has my same birthday, so that was, that's just really special. Um, and so I feel like we'll obviously be connected for life. Um, so yeah, and, and the day went well. I would say it was more relaxing. Um, I did have a little bit of an incident at the end of the day, like the evening, um, I was texting back and forth with uh, one of my agents and uh, we aren't really seeing eye to eye. I'm wanting to move into a place in my career where um, I'm going out for jobs that pay well and you know, where I feel like it's worth my time. And the thing about LA is, you know, you've never quite made it, is kind of the attitude, you know? And so, you know, you should always be thankful and humble for any opportunity. And while I do believe that, I think there also is a point where you need to stand up for yourself in terms of what you feel you you deserve and not that you're better than anybody but more for yourself and so I'm kind of in that place right now and I'm really trying to find the right fit for me agent wise and I'm feeling a little frustrated I won't lie um, because I just feel like I work really hard um, to make sure that I'm good so that I can attract the right opportunities and so this is a time where my mom and many of my friends would tell me I'm being impatient and while that may be true, I'm also just really excited and ready to get going and find that next step in my career and feel like all the work has amounted to something. So, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's a new week. Uh, so, who knows what will happen. You know, I'm in a town where you can literally make it overnight, um, where opportunities can come and your life can change forever. So I do believe that and I am not losing hope. I think it's just a matter of me, yeah, maybe being more patient and understanding to the other side and finding somewhere in the middle uh, while still standing up for myself and, and doing what I feel is best for me. Um, oftentimes I feel there's this attitude that you're the actor and that what you say doesn't matter until you're an A-lister and it's like, well, you know, at some point you need to have that A-lister mindset to become an A-lister. And so uh, it's not about what other people think or tell you you should do, but rather what you feel in your heart is best for you. And owning that and not taking no for an answer when it comes to your dreams. So that's where I'm at right now. And you know, I'm going through this phase. I don't know, it's interesting. But it's cool that I get to share it with you guys. So uh, if you're having a similar experience or you have had a similar experience where you feel like you're not getting quite what you deserve or, or you're, yeah, you're having, you're struggling with getting paid what you want or charging your clients more if you work for yourself, comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences with the similar issues. Uh, so tomorrow's day eight. I'm excited to uh, get back on here and tell you guys how the day went. And um, wherever you are, stay encouraged. Uh, have a wonderful morning, night, evening, wherever you are. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day eight of 365 days of no alcohol. Once again, my name is Deanna. If you're loving the journey so far, please subscribe below. Share with friends, comment, you know the deal. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.